Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 4b of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 103 and the question is number 3. It reads, a plane flies due east at 100 km an hour. A wind is blowing from north at 10 km an hour. Find the resultant speed and direction of the plane. I think this is pretty poorly phrased because well, look, it's, it, it, I know it says what it says, but it means that the plane, the phys the plane is actually flying due east. Now, I know that that's exactly what it says, but it's just, it, it, these things can become kind of ambiguous with these relative velocity questions. The next thing is that it says the wind is blowing from north. So that means it's blowing from north to south. So its direction is actually in the negative J. So just to sketch the motion here, we'll draw our x-axis and draw our y-axis. The wind is blowing from north to south, so it's in this direction here. That's VW. And we know the plane is actually blow is actually moving due east, like so. Alright, that is the velocity of the plane. Like so. Now, why would you say it's, it's not the velocity of the plane relative to the wind? The reason is, is because the plane is physically flying due east. So because of that reason you say it is the velocity of the plane. So the two things we know so far is the velocity of the wind and the velocity of the plane. The next thing we need to do is work out the velocity of the plane relative to the wind. Alright, so if we have V, uh, VAB, that mathematically is just VA minus VB. And if, you know, but what does that physically mean? It means that B says that it is stationary. And I put this in inverted commas because it's not actually stationary. So B says, if I pretend that I'm stationary, what is everybody else doing? So the question is this. If I change this the other way around, what if I had, if I change that to the wind? If the wind was stationary, where would the plane actually be flying? So if the plane is flying this direction with the wind, uh, where would it be flying without the wind? It would probably be flying somewhere like this. Alright? So, the, like I said, if you leave one of the... This one here is the stationary one. And usually that is the wind, or the river, or the rain, or something along those lines. So put that stationary and see what, what your other, uh, other quantity does. This, of course, would be VP. VPW, like that. Alright? So... I'll change this and this and we get P here and we get W here. So what do we know? We know VP because we're given that it is 100 and it's in the positive i hat unit vector direction. And we know VW because we're given that and it's going in the negative j hat unit vector direction at 10. So it's minus 10 j hat. Like that. Or if you wanted to write it very explicitly, you'd say the following. You'd say 100 i hat plus 0 j hat minus 0 i hat plus uh, minus uh, 10 j hat. So VPW is equal to 100 i hat plus 10 j hat. Now, does that make physical sense? Well, look, we have plus i hat, plus j hat, which is in the first quadrant where we initially thought the particle would actually be going. So that's correct. If we get the magnitude of this, is equal to the square root of 100 squared, plus 10 to be squared. And that's approximately 100.5. The next thing we need to do is get the, the angle. So... We know it's plus plus, so we draw it in this direction here. So this is VPW. And if we resolve this into its component unit vectors, we get one parallel to the I hat, one parallel to the J hat, going in these directions like so. Alright, so this is VPW sub uh, J hat. This is VPW, or sub, excuse me, sub Y. This is sub X. And we call this angle here theta. This is equal to 10, this is equal to 100. And therefore, we know, of course, that tan theta is equal to 10 over 100 is equal to 1 tenth. 
So that, that, that if you inverse tan that, it works out about like five point something degrees. So we'll say approximately five degrees. So that's the resultant speed. Remember the speed is the magnitude of the velocity vector. So the speed here is 100.5, whereas the velocity vector was 100 i hat plus 10 j hat. So that's that complete. Thanks for watching. Pass on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.